What's up guys, welcome back to the poker vlog. I'm in Northern California, this is my parents' house. Uh, this is the room I grew up in. Um, for this episode, I play a session of 510 at the Bellagio. Played it earlier this month. Just haven't gotten around to putting out all the footage. Been pretty busy. We went to uh, Arizona to do a meetup game out there. So I've got a few sessions from that trip that I need to get out as well. Uh, so yeah, as soon as I get back to Vegas, which will be tomorrow, I'm gonna try and pump out some stuff. So hope you guys enjoy this. Let's go ahead and get into it. 10.30 in the morning, November 3rd, getting a rare early start today. So they got one game of 510. Not a lot to film at the table, so I'm gonna have to give you guys updates after the hands are done. Let's go over some of the poker hands that we played today. Didn't really, didn't really get too many good cards in the beginning. For the first three hours, I ran kind of cold. Uh, the first big hand I played, or interesting hand I played, I had uh, pocket fives. The under the gun plus one player open to 30. I call the button and the big blind both call. So we go four ways to the flop. The flop comes six, three, deuce, all spades. I have the five of spades, so I've got a gutter to the straight flush. The under the gun plus one player bets 80. I, I call. The other two players fold. The turn is the jack of hearts, and this time the opponent checks. I thought he might have had just ace high with the ace of spades, or uh, maybe even without spades. I uh, kind of wanted to deny equity, and plus I might have several outs if, if the player does call. So I bet 130, not a very big bet. Player calls. The river is the ace of hearts, and he checks. Not a very good card in case he has the ace of spades. I check back and he has pocket aces with no ace of spades. So, uh, so yeah, he beat me there. Perhaps I could have checked back the turn, but I don't really mind about that much. And then after that, I pick up pocket kings on the button. The under the gun player opens to 30. The hijack calls. I raise to 130. The big blind calls. The under the gun player calls and so does the hijack. So we go four ways to the flop again. The flop comes ace, 10, six with two hearts and not a very good flop. Checks to me, I check back. Not gonna, not gonna bet into three other people. The turn is six of hearts and checks to me again, I check. The river is another 10. This time the big blind bets 200. The under the gun player folds. The hijack calls. Pretty easy fold for me there. And the under the gun player, or sorry, the big blind said she had pocket queens and the hijack had ace jack of diamonds. Uh, not too much I can do about that hand. A few hours into the session, I pick up pocket deuces on the button. Player in middle position opens to 30. I call and so does the big blind. The flop comes queen nine deuce rainbow, checks to me, I bet 50. The big blind calls, pretty much snap called, and the middle position player folds. The turn is a queen. I'm hoping that the big blind drilled trips. He checks, I bet 160, and he snap calls again. Um, the river is a 10 of diamonds, backdoor diamonds get there. The big blind checks, I reach, for chips, I'm gonna bet big here, hoping that he's got trips or maybe he has like King Jack for a straight. Uh, I reach for 500 and the big blind folds before I can even put the bet out there. After that, the very next hand, I pick up pocket queens on the button, sorry, in the cutoff. 
the player in middle position who opened last hand opens to 40. I three bet to 130. And the other player who played with me in the last hand, he was the big blind, now he's a small blind. He cold calls, player in middle position calls. So we go three ways to the flop, same players as last hand. Flop comes eight, five, deuce with two hearts. I don't have the queen of hearts. Checks to me. I decide to check back for pot control. The turn is a 10, 10 of hearts. Uh, this time the small blind bets 200. The player in middle position folds. I make the call. The river is a jack of clubs and the small blind bets smaller now. He bets 130, which is tiny. Think about raising, but don't know what I'll get called by that I beat. So I just call him, and he has ace jack offsuit with the jack of hearts. So he had uh, two overs with a flush draw on the turn, and then he drilled a pair on the river. And uh, so I want, I want a nice pot there. The last big hand that I played, I have pocket tens and the hijack. Two players limp in. I make it 60. The button, who I played the last two hands with, uh, using the small and big blind before, he calls. So does the big blind. The two limpers fold. The flop comes ace, seven, five, rainbow. Big blind checks. I check and the button snap bets 90. Uh, so I've seen this guy bluff or try to bluff me before. Big blind folds. I'm not always gonna call down with tens here, but I'm gonna call at least one street. So I make the call. The turn is a nine. I check the button bets 160. Again, I don't really love tens in this spot. I don't know if they're good. Uh, the button kind of snap bet again. Seemed like it could be bluffing. I call. River is another seven, which is a good card because it reduces the combination of flops, two pair hands or flop sets. I check and the button checks back. And he had, he turns over King Jack offsuit. So uh, I was good with the pocket tens, which is nice. Not always gonna be right with, uh, when you call two streets with an under pair. One 715 after being stuck three or 400 kind of early on just was cold in the beginning and ran well at the end and made some decisions that worked out. So that is my session here at Bellagio. Started playing at 11.30 and just ended the session now. It's a little after five. So uh, yeah, had a, had a nice win. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely get back to you. Uh, if you happen to be in Vegas on Wednesday, December 6th, then come out to the Westgate and play a meetup game with Andrew Nemi and I. Uh, we'll be hosting it out there. I'll have some more details to follow. I'm not sure if we're going to do a 2-5 game or if we're going to do some smaller stake stuff. One last announcement is that uh, if you haven't joined offthefelt.com yet, please do so. It's a poker forum site that my brother and I started. We've got around 950 members now, so we're trying to get to 1,000. That'll be awesome. Um, it's a really cool site. A lot of people are interacting with uh, other people in their areas, and they're talking about hands, improving their game. I'm on there a lot, so uh, please join. I'll have a link down below in the description box. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Good luck at the tables, and I'll see you next time. <clears throat> That's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section, and I'll definitely get back to you. A lot of people have been asking me about um, 
my background in poker and just they just want a little bit more information on my life so I thought this is a good opportunity to talk about it uh, I was actually born in Philadelphia not a lot of people know that I was born in West Philadelphia to be exact and uh, raised out there spent a lot of time just doing normal things hanging out on the playground shooting some b-ball uh, with my buddies we called it hooping it so uh, just hoop it um, I got in a pretty small altercation and my mom was nervous about it at the time so uh, she didn't really think it was the safest place for me to be out there so she sent me to California to live with my aunt and uncle and um, that's pretty much how I became a professional poker player so uh, hope you guys are all doing well hope you had a good Thanksgiving good luck at the tables and I'll see you next time